My cancer journey began on September 9th of 2014. They said, you have breast cancer. And I started to cry for like 20 seconds. And I just felt like, you know what? I, I just can't cry about this. I just have to figure out what I'm gonna do. I had a lumpectomy a week later. They advised that I have chemotherapy and radiation and five to 10 years of follow-up medication. It was very sobering. And one of the dots that I connected in that process was the importance of prevention of cancer in the first place. We're the only independent research organization that's focused specifically on finding the environmental links to breast cancer. The chemicals that we're studying can also affect other kinds of cancer, brain development, asthma, fertility. As we understand and eliminate these toxics, we'll have even wider impact. Our research has led to some important changes nationwide, so now you can buy safer products as a result of our work. We want to bring our knowledge to college campuses, where it's so important that young people have a safe environment. That's why we started the Healthy Green Campus Project. The mission of the Healthy Green Campus Project is to integrate human health and chemical exposures into sustainability practices on college campuses. We conduct research to provide the evidence that decision makers need on college campuses so that they can make effective purchasing decisions that will reduce exposures to harmful chemicals. We visit college campuses to collect air, blood, and dust samples, which are then analyzed for a variety of chemicals, including flame retardants. The exciting part is when we get to go back to the campuses and share the results. We also provide tips on how to reduce exposures to these harmful chemicals. It's very unusual, I think, for college students and college administrators and faculty to be able to be face-to-face -face with people who are doing the kind of research that Silent Spring is doing. And not just the research, moving it out of the research realm into the applied realm. It was my sister's childhood anywhere. Our students have had total accessibility and I think that has made for such an authentic experience for them. Well, I think the collaboration is perfect because as a chemist and an educator, I feel it's my responsibility to inform students and educate them about the consumer products that they're using. It's great synergy between the green chemistry that I teach in the classroom as well as the Healthy Green Campus Initiative um, from the Silent Spring. Students really want to come and have an impact on the world now, and I think this is one great way to get them to play around with it in a safe environment where we can structure it and give them the support they need to succeed. Harvard University, like other higher ed institutions, has been very focused on reducing our carbon footprint. But through our research with our faculty as well as Silent Spring, we've also identified the opportunity and the need to reduce our chemical footprint. We knew we needed a, a third party trusted scientific group to help us do research and they have been an invaluable partner ensuring that our strategy can be driven by science. We're really seeing this snowball effect. We brought our research to college campuses, which then led to policy changes within the city of Boston. And as a result of that, other companies like Blue Cross Blue Shield and Partners Healthcare have been able to change their purchasing practices to move away from harmful chemicals. It's really just the tip of the iceberg and how we can engage different stakeholders and really scale this movement up. This is an important discussion and we're, we're talking about public safety and public health here together. Uh, March 2016, we were very excited. We were able to pass changes to the Boston Fire Code that would remove the requirement of certain carcinogenic chemicals from our upholstered furniture and public buildings. We've already heard from numerous institutional purchasers. Of not only are they now able to get the new furniture without these chemicals in them, but it's cheaper. They're saving money. Um, and for a lot of our nonprofits, for Boston Public Schools, for city government, that's really important where every dollar counts. Silent Spring has been invaluable for Blue Cross in a couple of different ways. Um, the first certainly was the build out of our new headquarters here in Boston and all of the education and the materials and the guidance they gave us on creating a really healthy, non-toxic environment. Silent Spring has also come to our office and given uh, talks to our employees to educate them. Silent Spring has a really strong ability not only to understand the science, something that's very complicated, but to communicate it in a way that is actionable and useful. And I think this will go a really long way, again, in raising the issue of exposure to chemicals on the corporate sustainability agenda. It didn't take a lot for us to get on board, uh, given the reputation that Silent Spring Institute has. 
if we as consumers, whether individuals or institutions, begin to demand safer, healthier products, the companies that manufacture and distribute these products are going to respond. We at Silent Spring know that a safer and healthier world is possible. Please join us in making it a reality.